Chuck Todd is NBC's political director and moderator of Meet the Press. Chuck, good morning. So we saw China sending diplomats into Europe this week, eventually, though, ending up in Moscow, sort of showing how they're trying to walk this line in this war. If this is a game changer, as the U.N. ambassador put right. it, if China gives lethal aid to Russia, how does it change the game from the point of view of the Biden administration? It's hard not to view it as some sort of, you know, now global conflict of some sort. I mean, that's the that's the danger here is is then what? I mean, we we talk about that there's going to be consequences. We don't quite say what they are. Uh, I think that it's much harder to create a a financial vice grip on China that we were able to do on Russia. Right. Russia is not a huge uh, 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 exporter of goods that the rest of the Western world was needing. China is now. One would assume China does not want to alienate its two best customers, uh, North America and Europe. But I'll tell you, Willie, you know, uh, the head of Belarus, the president of Belarus, he's going to Beijing this week. Last month, uh, Xi hosted uh, the president of Iran. You've got them going to Moscow. I mean, it, it is understandable here that the West is starting to worry that China suddenly are they trying to create an axis of authoritarian nations here? Um, you know, you look at how Russia is able to get its ammunition. Who do they tap into? Other black market nations on the sanction list, right? Iran and North Korea. So there, this is a disconcerting moment. And if China sort of provides the gateway for all of these authoritarian countries, then, you know, there's no doubt this escalates. The question is, what does escalation look like? Yeah, and President Zelensky even said on Friday, China, if you're serious about this peace yep. plan you put out this week, I will meet with President Xi. I'm not sure he's. I thought that so was sure an important, Willie. I thought that was an important point. The U.S. was trying to dismiss that peace plan. Zelensky decided to play good cop here. Fascinated yeah. to see how the Chinese respond. Be interesting to see how this plays out. Chuck, thanks so much. We'll look for more right, this morning friend. on Meet the Press when Chuck is joined for much more on this by National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan, as well as Republican Senator Dan Sullivan of Alaska. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.